Well, we had the fog and the drizzle or mist yesterday morning, and then not a whole lot of sunshine yesterday afternoon. Uh, out at SeaTac only hit 46 degrees. Yet another day with below normal temperatures. We just get in one pattern and stick there for a while, that's for sure. And there's going to be a bigger gap between those two as we head towards uh, Sunday and the first part of next week. Take a look uh, right now at the Bellingham Tower Camera. You know, we've been talking about the fact that at least that Seattle had you know the first after five o'clock sunset by a few seconds last night. However, farther to the north, still waiting for it to arrive there in uh, Bellingham because it takes longer. We'll all be at about the same sunrise sunset times around the equinox, but it takes a while for the north to lighten back up again, and then they accelerate and have more light farther to the north. In contrast, we check out uh, the Olympia area, 48 a degree above normal. Maybe that's because they had sunset at 5.04. Last night's sunset was at 5.04, but uh, so tonight sunset's going to be at 5.05. It's there kind of ahead of the curve for right now. So it's always interesting to watch these sunset times. Like I said, it doesn't take into account the mountains out there either. Weather-wise, we do have uh, not much going on this morning. Cloudy skies, some areas of fog. We don't have any precipitation coming out of the sky, so dry roadways, so that's a definite plus. And you see, not seeing much uh, evidence of that fog there in Everett or the uh, Bellingham Tower cams, but dropping down there. Well, at SeaTac, we had quite a bit of fog there like 10 minutes ago, and now you can see it's kind of lightened up a little bit, so those fog patches is always moving around a bit. In uh, Tacoma, you see the low clouds are not quite making down the ground, at least around the camera, maybe farther out in the distance, you're going to run into some of that fog. And I've seen some visibilities down to much less than a quarter of a mile in a few spots. You can see a little bit more of that fog there in the time lapse at uh, Shorecrest High School in Shoreline. Temperatures upper 30s and low 40s, most spots starting off the day. Take a look at the uh, computer model. Shows the clouds with us this morning. Those pretty much stick around. We might get a couple sun breaks wedged in there. Hello, let's come back to that. Let's not leave that model. <laughs> we put that into motion. Well, we put that into motion. There it goes. You can see as we go through the day today, it stays pretty solid. But again, you might see a sun break. As we head towards uh, midday, you might start to see a few sprinkles up there towards the Canadian border. And then as we head into the evening hours, we'll start to see the push of a little weak cold front moving in. That is going to swing through. Give us some rain overnight. And see, by the time we get to tomorrow morning, we're going to see that uh, pretty much wrap up the rain and the showers. And then we'll look for by tomorrow afternoon, mostly just cloudy skies with a little bit of sunshine peeking through. And then it looks like that colder will be heading our way as we head towards Saturday. So for today, we're going to be looking for mostly cloudy. Chance of rain moving in this evening. Temperatures in the mid 40s. Some morning showers and sun breaks Friday. It's going to be cloudy on Saturday. And that chance of a flurry or mixed rain and snow showers we head towards Saturday evening. Not looking for any accumulations of any consequence out of that. It's going to turn windy in Whatcom County and near the Cascade Pass as that cold air starts to move its way in going to dry out and clear out for Sunday and Monday with sunshine and cold temperatures. Partly sunny on Tuesday, mostly cloudy on Wednesday with a few sun breaks, but highs starting to edge back into the mid 40s.